Episode story number 15, Niffle and the Sounds of Transformation. Inside Niffle's cozy underground cavern, now dimly lit and shadowy, Niffle and Mird had just escaped from the alien spacecraft and now returned back, but all is not well. The implant that the aliens have placed into Niffle begins to corrupt him, filling him with an uncontrollable hunger for dark energy. Niffle, now barely in control of his actions, opens the chest and begins to feed on the nightmares trapped inside. As he consumes them, his power and corruption grows. More, more, I need more. We gotta save you, brother. Stop drinking the nightmares. You'll harm yourself. Go away. Leave me alone. You're not yourself, Niffle. Let me help you. You need help. And with that thought, a subtle blast of white light energy ripples through the cavern making the Moonstone amulet given to Niffle by Luna. The Moonstone suddenly starts to vibrate and glow, causing it to drop to the floor and roll down to the cavern's basement below, which slowly lands to Niffle's foot. It catches his eye. Driven by his uncontrollable hunger, he picks it up. It glows bright as he consumes it. Oh, nom noms. In return, sending a distress call to Luna on the Earth plane. Meanwhile, somewhere in the dream world, Luna has a dream of the Moonstone and hears a faint echoing noise of Niffle in distress in the distance. She wakes up immediately, walks over to her box of charms located in her drawer and takes a good look at the Moonstone. Physically there is nothing to be seen but energetically the Moonstone has an urgent vibration to it which she immediately senses. She knows something is wrong. Niffle boy, are you in trouble? I must help you little one. Luna prepares to end the dream state, making an astral tea, then going back to her bed. Closing her eyes, her body falls peacefully asleep, entering the dream world. She calls through the dream world, trying to locate Niffle. She doesn't know where to look, but holds the energy of the moonstone firmly in her hand to help guide her. Niffle? Niffle? Suddenly, Luna notices a small blue creature, similar to Niffle, dancing on the grass and singing to herself. A beautiful chorus sweeps through the landscape, creating a beautiful, calming ambience. Beneath her, a large entrance to a magical cavern, Niffle's Cavern. Luna approaches the entrance of Niffle's Cavern, walking slowly through the rocky halls, calling out for him. Hello, dear Niffle. Are you here? As she gets closer to him, she can hear his pain, eventually finding him on the floor. As she crawls through the cavern, her gigantic body filling the whole space, her head touching the ceiling, Mir turns around and looks up to see her. My goodness, who are you and how did you get in here? Mir says, pointing his cane at Luna, while Luna putting her walking stick staff out to protect her from his tiny little powerful cane. I am Luna, a friend of Niffle, from the Earth Plane. I am here to help him. You must be Mird. Niffle has talked much of you. My moonstone amulet was calling to him. Mid takes off his hat and bows to Luna. Good to meet you, ma'am. But you're too late. He's just eaten the moonstone. He's been corrupted by an alien implant. I don't know what to do. He won't stop eating the nightmares. Ah, I see. Perfect. That's what the moonstone was meant to do to be a protective stone. We now need the help of a powerful group to transform this dark energy inside him and remove the implant. There is a seance group that can help him on the earth plane. I know the place. Niffle was there recently. Let me look through his dream records. Mird searches through Niffle's dream records, flipping through the pages of the gigantic book, finally finding the energy of the seance group on the earth plane. Ah, here it is. Passenger side retreat, Circa, in Somerset. Oh yes, I have heard of that place. I will do my best to contact them and go and visit. Aye, when you do, and you are ready, just say my name three times and I shall appear. Why, thank you, Maid. I will be in touch. May it be. Good luck, Luna. We're gonna need it. He says, putting his hat to his chest and closing his eyes. And with that thought, Luna dissolves from the cavern, leaving a spark of white light mist behind, simultaneously waking up in her bed. With the wisdom and guidance of Luna and the determination of Mird, the Dreamweaver, a plan was set in motion to save Niffle from his dark transformation. What will Mird and Luna do to save the threat of Niffle's darkness? The answers lie in the days yet to come.